let me tell you uh, what I can say about our next comic. He's based out of his living room in Los Angeles, California, but he's originally from Chicago where they really do have the best pizza. And he's very happy to be away from that wind and that snow. Please <laughs> welcome to our Zoom room, Austin Warren. Charlie, you promised you wouldn't say anything. Um, <laughs> what's up? How's everybody feeling? Good? <laughs> oh, great. Um, round of applause. Who else is so bored during quarantine? They're just watching pornos from start to finish. Um, <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> One day I was just like, wait, there's a premise to these things? With <laughs> Maybe I'll stick it out. Maybe she does help him finish that book report. I don't know. <laughs> so a couple of days ago, I was doing a, a wake and bake, right? And I'm outside and this squirrel runs in front of me and it stops and it stares at me. And you guys know how like when a squirrel is staring at you, it feels like they're kind of staring into your soul a little bit, you know? <laughs> yeah. So I'm watching the squirrel, like we're just eyeing each other. And I had this realization that black men are the squirrels of America. Oh. Just think about it. Like we, me and us and squirrels, we go through the same things. Like always on high alert, constantly trying to avoid being killed. And at the end of the day, we're just trying to get home safely with our nuts. Like. <laughs> 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 I, I, you know, for black men, it's really hard. You know, society puts so much pressure on us. There's so much we got to go through, so much for us to be secretive about. Like, we have to lie so much. Like, I remember the first time I got caught in a lie. I was 14. My boy came over my crib. We're in my room chilling, watching movies, whatever. And at one point, I was on my bed and he looks at my CD collection. He pulls out a CD and he's like, Hey, bro, what's this? Taylor Swift CD you got <laughs> and in my head I'm just like fuck um so I gotta play it off cool I'm just like oh man you know my sister be leaving her stuff up in here you know like how it is and he goes what are you talking about man you an only child and <laughs> I had to lie because black men we cannot go around telling people that we like Taylor Swift like I don't know what it is we just can't do it you know a black man jamming a Taylor Swift is like eating McDonald's on your workout day. You know, it's like you're enjoying <laughs> you're enjoying this, but you shouldn't be enjoying this. You know what I mean? Like, uh -huh. and you know, when you're done, you kind of feel ashamed of yourself, but you go back and do it again because you're like, "Fuck it, I'm I'm loving it." <laughs> <laughs> It's not just music, though. There's certain movies Black men aren't allowed to talk about. Um, word of advice out there, okay? If you are Black, straight, and watch Brokeback Mountain, <laughs> keep that shit to yourself, okay? Like, <laughs> the warning. <clears throat> okay, you think your boys are going to believe you if you're just like, oh, man, I love the cinematography. Yeah. <laughs> it's not something you can suggest to your boys for movie night you know that's something you got to sneak in like you start slowly searching for it on netflix they're like hey what the fuck you doing all right look just just hear me out okay <laughs> two hours later they're just like you're right bro that movie's amazing <laughs> <laughs> I told y'all, I'm like, you thought that was great. I mean, you see Magic Mike? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Round of applause. Who has that mom that makes it feel like it was your fault you were born? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, every time my mom would try to guilt me, she would be saying shit like, uh, you know, you lived in my house growing up. I clothed you. I fed you. I raised you. I'm like, cool, mom, let me just grab the dictionary because I could have sworn this is what mother <laughs> is. Um, <laughs> like growing up, like there was no such thing as uh, 
invading your privacy with my mom, right? When I was 18, she lectured me when she found an empty condom box in my room. She was like, have you thought about what if the condom breaks? What if you get this girl pregnant? And I'm sitting there and I'm just like, wow. Am I really getting nagged at for being responsible? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like one day, um, I came home from chilling with my boys and uh, my mom's sitting in the living room all dramatically. She's like, come here, I want to talk to you. I'm like, are you okay? She's like, yeah, come here. So obviously I was in trouble. So I go sit down <laughs> she looks at me and she's like, is there anything you want to tell me? I'm like, no. She goes, are you sure? I'm like, yeah. She goes, okay. Well, I found something in your room and I got to say, I have never been more disappointed in you than I am now. Oh. Oh. And then she pulled out my Taylor Swift CD. <laughs> <laughs> she was looking at me and she's like, you want to explain this shit? <laughs> it's like, um, look, mom, this is something I'm just experimenting. You know, I, yeah, I don't know how I feel about it. I'm, I'm trying to shake it off. Who? Um, <laughs> I, I just hope you can be understanding, right? She's looking at me like, she's looking Keisha. at me a little tear-eyed, you know, and she's Friday like, like bunnies. So I told her I would go. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. So anyway, um, <laughs> so she's uh, she's like, look, even though I don't agree with your music choice, I can accept this because you're my son and I love you. So we hugged it out and uh, she's wiping away her tears and she's like, is there anything else you might want to tell me? I'm like. <laughs> and then she pulled out my Magic Mike DVD, and I was like. <laughs> <laughs> I think my, I do think my mom issues is why, like, I like hooking up with older women, you know, like older women, uh, they see how mature I am, like, there's less mind games, and for the most part, they know what they want. And then there's some women who just can't look past the age difference. Like I was out with, with this one woman and she had this concerned look on her face in the middle of dinner. And I'm like, are you okay? She's like, no, look, I like you. I think you're cute. You're very sweet. You know how to make me laugh, but you're just too young for me. I'm like, come on, look past the age difference. Like we can make this work. She goes, honey, I'm 62. <laughs> and I just, pause and I wipe my mouth with my napkin I'm like ah huh, baby you too young for me what the fuck are we doing <laughs> Austin, <laughs>